Good day, time my puzzles, and welcome to a quick review of a game, movie, or TV show I just finished. All thoughts and feelings are my own and are just for fun, quick way to get out my feelings on what I just played or watched. So enjoy and don't take anything too seriously. Good day, time my fuzzy ice, and welcome to a review of Kirby's Pinball Land. Kirby's Pinball Land was released for Game Boy on November 30th, 1993 in North America and is the third Kirby game following Kirby's Adventure. As the name suggests, Kirby's Pinball Land is a spin-off that takes Kirby and puts him into a pinball machine. Overall, I enjoyed the game, despite there being a bit of RNG with Kirby falling into places that you couldn't really bump him out of and him falling to lower screens, which could lead to quick random losses. Even with that, I do recommend giving the game a try, as the game does look good and play well. But enough intro, let's get into the story. Although I looked a bit online, I couldn't really find a concrete story other than what the opening of the game already shows, or shows in general. Basically, Kirby is walking along when King DDD falls from the sky and lands on Kirby, flattening him. King DDD then summons a bunch of bumpers and jumps off into them, as Kirby, turning into a ball, follows him. While the story is basic, it does show what the main gimmick of the game is, and, you know, it gets you into the feel of it and all that, and sort of why the bumpers are there, and why it's a pinball machine, kind of. Now on to the characters. With this being, you know, a basic uh, pinball experience, Characters don't really have much dialogue, and instead have just the bare minimum emotional emotes or, uh, not emotes, but animations and whatnot. The main character of the game, as it implies, is Kirby, who is mostly in ball form for most, if not all, of the game. Uh, the only times he really has any emotion, besides being ball, is when he falls to his death, loses a life, or he's disappointed, or is he when he's happy for beating a boss and whatnot. As for the other enemies and bosses, they kind of have just a neutral attacking animation, uh, damaged animation, and defeated animation. So overall, the game with characters, as you'd expect for a pinball thing, is pretty basic, but it's good enough for a pinball game. The game has three courses to choose from that are named after the bosses you'll find there, being Wispy, Krako, and Poppy. Each level consists of three screens on top of each other with a warp star that'll take Kirby to the course's boss once he completes a small challenge there, reveals the star, and hits it. There's also a death room at the very bottom of each course, where Kirby will lose a life if he falls all the way down and is unable to press A at the right time to bounce him back up. Though, being a game on the Game Boy and a pinball game to boot, the levels only have very small differences in the design of the sides and whatnot. Uh, design and markings. Each screen does have unique enemies challenges that must be faced in order to go higher up, but overall it's not much difference and is very rudimentary, which again, like I've been saying, is kind of how pinball games are. Still looks good, there are still differences, but very rudimentary in truth. The game mechanics, like everything else, are very simple. All you can do in the courses is press left to activate the left bumper, or A to activate the right bumper. All the other buttons seem to shake the screens, but I'm unsure if it's actually helpful or not. If you fall past the bottom screen and enter the death zone, you will have to press A at the right time to shoot back up into the course. If you don't press A in time, you lose a life. Uh, if you do, however, you'll rise to different screens depending on the timing of your press. Once you select the course you'd like to start with, by hitting the corresponding warp star, you enter the course at the middle screen. Using the controls, you must get Kirby to the top screen, either by completing small challenges or getting lucky with how you hit Kirby and him just launching to the next screen above. Once being the challenge on the top screen and hitting a warp star that'll appear, it'll take you to the boss. After hitting the boss enough times, you'll get a key, and must complete the other two courses to gain the other keys in order to face King DDD. Also in the middle screen of every course is a hidden bonus stage that you'll need to find a warp star to get to. The bonus stages are mainly just for points, as this is pinball and pinball likes points. So it really doesn't matter if you're not a points guy and just want to go for the natural end of the game. 
considering this game is a spin-off of the Kirby games, it doesn't really continue any of the story from either of the games in the series. Rather, it takes some of the enemies, bosses, and elements from the previous games and makes it into a decent pinball adventure. Overall, the gameplay is really well, despite it being easy for Kirby to fall into areas where you can't bounce him back from and possibly lose. Even with that, the story and characters are very basic, but that's what be expected from a spin-off. It's nice that you can choose from three courses, each with their own unique enemies, challenges, bosses, in overall making for a very good experience. Though you can fail through no real fault of your own from the random bouncing it feels like, and just him falling into the holes, uh, the mechanics are very good and work well enough to make it very enjoyable to play. Overall, a tough but fun pinball game, based on the Kirby series. Sadly, the only legal way to play this game, at the time of this recording, is either on the Game Boy or 3DS Virtual Console. Though the 3DS's store closed down, making the Game Boy the only legal way to play, seeing as you can no longer access any game or buy any more games from the 3DS's store. Hopefully it will be released on the Switch's online Game Boy emulator thing, or another collection comes out. But until then, thank you my fellas for watching, and I will see you next anytime.